Celtics update, playoff edition. Tuesday, April 23rd, 2013. Celtics in a dual hole against the Knicks after another second half collapse. Of the Boston Celtics in the playoffs, and the Knicks win it 87 to 71. After a tough game one loss to the near Nick Buck, the Celtics try to focus on try to get game two, and the Celtics got off to a good start in the first quarter, but the Knicks overtook them, and in the first quarter, it was the New York Nick Barker's lead in Boston Celtics through one quarter, 26 to 20. And in that second quarter, the Boston Celtics started to play playoff basketball at its finest in the second quarter, as they had 28 points to them. New York Nick Barker 16, and in that second quarter, it was 48 to 42. The Celtics the top by six at the halftime break. But in that third quarter, Everything, everything, everything collapsed in the third quarter like a How's that go again? Block tower of Gordon Dad completely as the Celtics ran out of gas completely like a car in the middle of a George Washington bridge as the Celtics in the third quarter shot 11 points as the New York Knickerbockers turned a six-point deficit into a 15-point lead as in the third quarter. In this first round playoff, it was a Nick Buckers leading the Celtics 74 to 59. And in that fourth quarter, the Celtics ran out of steam in the fourth quarter. Like a Amtrak trade running out of steam in the middle of New York City as the New York Knickerbockers dominated the game in the third and fought quarters of the game as the Boston Celtics are in a 2-0 hole as they lose to the New York Knickerbockers 87-71. There, Carmel Anthony led the Knickerbockers with 34 points in the win and another solid effort and it was Paul Pierce who led the Boston Celtics with 18 points in the losing win. And Peter Stadol did not. There, Peter's start all the die there. Okay. First quarter. First quarter. The Celtics shot okay. The Celtics shot okay. They were 19 for 34. Third quarter, they did what they had to do, though. And me, the big story right now for the Celtics is, and it could have an impact on the future is. Just Kevin Garnett with 12 points and 56 percent should have. But in that second quarter, something's going on. Pluck, pluck, pluck by the Celtics. One game, okay. As they Two seven games. for 36. You know, our big guy's not right. In my opinion, not making it a woeful 19 percent shooting. Going in with Kevin Garnett, if he's not, and again, at the end of the okay, season, the Celtics are in a 2 0 hole and as long as him. And that play Doc Rivers even for has to think of what to, to do when Celtics is down 2 0 as somewhere in there. they are going back to Boston TD Garden for game three. On more serious, it's it's not obviously stating the obvious, it's not fun to see Kevin Garnett play like that because he's very quiet. Friday night. And Doc Rivers and the Celtics are going to stay Boston strong, stay Boston tough, and try to get a win at home on Friday. Still up by Celtics to be Boston strong no matter what.